Let's talk about hormone replacement therapy. Let's talk about somebody that's uh, just starting menopause. They're having hot flashes. They don't feel good. They want to stop the symptoms. And they've heard that hormones may be dangerous or may not be dangerous. How do you educate that person that's having symptoms? Well, I try to try to keep it in balance. You know, there are studies that show some increased risk, but relative to the benefit, those risks are, are relatively small. So the risk would be what? Well, the first thing that probably people are most interested in is the risk of breast cancer. There does seem to be, according to some studies, a small increased risk of breast cancer that seems to be cumulative over the time period that a patient may be on hormone therapy. We used to think that estrogen therapy, hormone replacement therapy, uh, protected the heart, but we don't feel that's the case anymore. So if somebody comes in with hot flashes, uh, and they say, it's just bothering me too much, you gotta do something for me, what would you do? Well, we'd have that conversation, and depending upon the severity of their symptoms, if they're having very mild symptoms, we may just, you know, discuss some other options and things that they can do, self-help, and, and there are some herbal remedies that they may wanna try. But if they're having significant symptoms, I'll usually go ahead and talk to them about hormone therapy and give them sort of the lay of the land as far as the different options and things like that. If you put that person on hormone replacement, bingo, do the symptoms go away? Well, they'll usually get some fairly immediate relief within a few days, but it will take a few weeks for them to stabilize and then you can determine whether or not they need the dose adjusted go with a different product, go with a different route of administration or whatever. 